Welcome to this new video from the ASAR 3D website. This modifier lets you hide when rendering vertices based on their weight. This time we will see how to use the modifier with a weight pane mode in Blender. We will see in this tutorial how to reproduce the successive appearance of pieces of a chess game by using the mask modifier and weight paint. This scene consists of a camera, a spot, decorative objects and chess pieces from a chess game. The chess pieces are merged into a single object. Only chess pieces will be used as part of the mask modifier presentation of this tutorial. Before we get into practice, let's first see the contents of the mask modifier. The mask modifier can be used either based on a vertex group or based on a bone of an armature. A vertex group is defined in the Object Data Properties tab. In this video, we are going to use the vertex group. The next field allows you to assign the vertex group that must affect the mask modifier. Note that this arrow sign allows you to reverse the selection of the vertex group. The threshold determines which group vertices are affected by the mask modifier. Only the vertices which have a threshold lower than the number indicated in this field are taken into account. The following example is perhaps more telling. In this example we see an object made up of three planes. The vertices of the first plane have a threshold set at 0.25. The vertices of the following plane have a threshold set at 0.5. The vertices of the last plane have a threshold set at 1. It's time to move on to a practical example. I now propose to recreate the above mask effect together. We will start by applying a weighted gradient paint to all the pieces in the game. This action will allow the modifier to determine, based on weight, which are the visible parts and which are the hidden parts. First, add in the Object Data Properties menu a new vertex group. Then rename it. Go to Weight Paint Mode and select the Gradient Brush. Assign Weight to 1. Press button 7 to position yourself above the scene. Put your cursor at the bottom right of the chessboard and, with the left click pressed, move the cursor to the top left. You can now see that the pieces have changed color. This proves that the pieces now have a different weight from the others. Now that you've given the 32 pieces their respective weights, we can add the mask modifier. Here is how to do it. In object mode, select the game pieces. Now add a mask modifier to your object. Assign the newly created vertex group. You can now test the effect by moving the threshold slider. Finally, we will add keyframes to the threshold field of the mask modifier to animate the set. First of all limit the duration of the animation to 100 frames. Go to the first frame, then position your mouse over the threshold field. Press the I key to add a keyframe. Position yourself at the 100th frame. Now set the threshold field to 1 and add a keyframe with the I key. You can now play the animation with the space key and enjoy the result. Thanks you for watching this video. Feel free to check my site for more tutorials and tips on Blender.